Greetings people, it's Gerard here, Wolfgang1. Sadly having to do this a second time. YouTube for some reason is not uh, uploading my first haul video. I don't know if there's a problem with YouTube in general or the actual file itself. Never mind, we are now going to try and do my AA haul, so to speak. Now, you might, some of you might want to sit down first of all, sharpen your knives, you know, get ready to spit venom. Here we go, we're going to start, as always, parts going up in scale, but we're going to start with the pre-AA collection, which was the parts, these little yellow bits of plastic, for um, nose cone. That finishes him off all lovely. And then I went and picked up, just before uh, AA, which is a little bit naughty of me, really, um, I can't remember this cunt's name, Afterburner, complete, um, quite cheap considering he's one of the very very difficult ones to get hold of so that's him done and because the protector arm was coming out at some point soon let me turn the camera out because the protector arm was coming out at some point soon um, trying to get hold of a classic rod of this has been very very difficult they're all going for like something stupid about 60 65 quid or something like a crap however my weasel gene kicked in at the opportune time and I managed to pick up one complete unboxed for 23 quid so, very, very happy with that. I do actually quite like that figure. And then you could say this is pre-AA, because I paid for it pre-AA, but it's actually technically post-AA, and this is where I think a lot of you may actually spit venom. Um, I managed to pick up the Generation 1 Pretender Bludgeon, uh, missing just the Shell's gun, for £25. So I can hear the drums already. And then we move on to um, actual AA stuff. So we'll, again parts going up in scale. I picked up one gun for Thundercracker, that's all they had, one gun. Well, only one that was in full condition, the other couple were snapped in half. Uh, I picked up some uh, weapons for Sludge and Snarl, uh, Dinobots, there's a fucking missile keeps firing at me, uh, and missile launchers and, and the like. Happy days. Um, I managed to pick up the guns for the Combaticon Swindle, and a couple of these little blaster things for Vortex, although this one actually is snapped. I didn't realise that when I bought it, but they still charged me a quid for it, so thanks for whoever that store was. Um, at this point, I want to give a big, big thank you to Tony from the TNG Retro Table, who very, very kindly donated to me his Universe Nightstick um, from the Cybertron 3-pack thing. So now uh, that one sits for Cyclones, now I can repaint the other one into Fracas. So all very well and good. Um, well, we prepared to have another party, incidentally, if you can hear that um, shouting and that another party going on over the back. Uh, from there, I want to give another another thank you to Tony, uh, who bought the um, reissue blaster and gave me, just gave me, the cassettes, reissue cassettes for it. So that's Steeljaw, right there, Ramhorn, what a name, and uh, Eject. So, Tony, thank you, thank you so much for that. I do appreciate that. That was very, very kind of you. Above and beyond the call of duty, as they say. And going up from there, yes, it hasn't finished yet, I'm afraid. Going up from there, um, I picked up uh, Technobot Lightspeed Complete for about £7, which is lovely. Actually, he's in not bad condition. The stickers were a bit bollocks, but there we are. Um, and I also picked up Strafe missing just his handgun um, for about fiver, which considering because of these two orange cannons, he's probably the most expensive to get. I I got a pretty good deal there. I think I got that from um, uh, it was either let me think about this. It was either Capel Toys or it was the store directly next to them. So whichever store it was, thank you very much. And then I picked up uh, Drag Strip Breakdown. He's actually in pretty good nick as well, believe it or not. Uh, what's this one called? Wild Rider I picked up. And Dead End as well. So now, just need the Gestalt parts and I've built up Menasaur, which is lovely. Uh, going up, uh, actually, to be fair, they were actually reasonably priced, about two, three quid a pop. Moving up from those, this is actually a pre-AA one as well. I don't know why I didn't mention this before, but for a 20 quid complete, I picked up Pretender Grimlock. And I've got to be honest with you, this is such a pile of shite. Um, my hopes weren't high actually when I saw the picture of it in the in the um, 
in the book, but I just thought, yeah, 20 quid, can't complain with that. Again, for 20 quid, missing just the Rebels gun, I picked up uh, Autobot Pretender Splashdown, who was never released in the UK, as far as I'm aware. So this was actually one of my holy grails to try and get hold of a Pretender that wasn't released in the UK, and there we go. There goes Grimlock. <laughs> never mind. Um, and then from uh, Typhoon, I picked up uh, Generation 1 Sludge for a very, very reasonable price. And the chrome on that is lovely. Actually, do you know what? I'm only just really noticing this stuff for the first time, but the chrome on that is exceptional. Uh, a bit loose in places, you know what you're going to do. And I also picked up for about £15, and I can see why, because this one is very loose, uh, Generation 1 Snarl. So now I have all the Dinobots. They're done, complete, lovely. Well, got to get a few parts from them, but essentially I've got all five of them, even though one of them's a knockoff. Um, and then again, thank you very much to Andy and um, King Grimmy on uh, Kapow Toys, who very graciously sold me Generation 1 Bruticus for £25. Um, I need a couple of the individual team members' parts, but essentially Bruticus for 25 quid, which I think is an amazing deal. Very, very pleased. They normally go for about 70, 80 quid on eBay. Um, okay, so from there we go up to uh, boxes, boxed and carded figures. I picked up a um, Beast Wars first edition rat trap. Um, this only cost me 30 quid. I got the very accommodating Scott McNeil to sign it, and um, there we are. Never going to open it. Going to stick it in a glass display case, and apparently, apparently that's worth money now, which is absolutely insane. So I'll be very, very careful with that one. Um, I want to give a massive thank you to Johnny. Formerly the Dwarf Pawn Star 666, currently Roddy Wade 666, for giving me the somewhat uh, buggered box to Generation 1 Classic Silver Bolt. Um, but you know, it's alright, I mean, it's had the text specs cut out of it and the bio, but you know, sod it, it's a box is a box at the end of the day. And I want to give Tofu, uh, Tofu so another massive thank you for selling me the box and insert for Generation 1 Misfire. £5, which means owning a mint in box misfire now has cost me all of about £15.50, which that should easily have gone collectively for about £100, £110. So I'm doing quite well here so far, aren't I? I can hear a lot of you seething already. Just bear with me, bear with me, it gets a lot worse, I believe me. From there, um, again, Toy Food, thank you very much, I do appreciate it. Um, actually, no, I'll come on to that one in a minute. Uh, Tony? from TNG Retro, thank you very much indeed for selling me Generations Thrust for about £10. I've opened this already, uh, as you can imagine. But yeah, first Generations figure, quite impressive. This is actually basically just the Classics mould redone for Thrust, but you know, it's alright for what it is. Nothing special, but nothing awful. Um, thank you to Kapow Toys, Andy and King Grimmy again for selling me uh, Generations Octopus Prime for £10. Um, this is gorgeous in either mode, just an absolute bastard in that stage in between. I'll come on to that when I, when I do a review of it at some point. And I honestly, honestly cannot remember for the life of me who sold me this, but uh, thank you anyway. Um, Animated Blur, which is one I really, really wanted for £10, which I think is an amazing deal. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous little figure. Uh, okay, now I'll go back to uh, Toy Food. Uh, on the second day of Auto Assembly, they sold me for a very respectable £25. Boxed and complete Power Master Joyride. Um, so apart from the reissue Prime, now I'm branching out into Power Masters. You know, realise I've got absolutely nowhere, nowhere to put any of this stuff. I'm, I do feel I may have to kick out my uh, ever put upon mother out onto the streets for this. Um, and this one, I'll be honest with you, was a little bit expensive, but because he is so difficult to get hold of, boxed or in any condition, I, I was willing to pay this. I uh, paid £70 for a complete Target Master Blur, which now means that's all my Target Masters done. Happy days. Moving up from there, um, on George's recommendation, I picked up a uh, Beast Wars Transmetal Rampage box for 40, £40. Pound. Um, I have transformed this guy to robot and back again and I haven't really started on the tank mode yet because it just looks too intimidating and difficult to work out but he is very very shiny, very very nice. 
And now I want to extend my massive, massive thanks to Brewster McLeod on uh, YouTube, who, through a private transaction, a trade, um, I managed to obtain a 97% complete Generation 1 Trypticon. Now, I haven't got these parts in here, the parts are in the other room, but this is absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning work. I'm very, very fortunate to own something like this, especially as it wasn't released in the UK as, as far as I'm aware. So, uh, Dimitri, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I do feel I might be running out of time, so I'm going to have to speed this on a little bit. Um, I picked up for £145, absolutely mint complete, Generation 1 Scorpionock, and oh, do you know what, I swear I won't dismantle this one like I did with my original one. Um, yes, very, very proud to have this, this is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous work on Hasbro's part. Back in the days when they used to fuck up, only rarely. Again, a massive thank you to Johnny the Dwarf Pole Star for donating me the box to the Generation 1 complete score block that he bought from TNG Retro. So, Johnny, thank you, thank you so, so much. Um, that's got to be worth at least, what, 500 quid now. Uh, and from there, uh, I picked up very, very cheaply. <laughs> I'm nearly over, I swear. Uh, for £34, Armada Unicron, box and complete. I didn't realise that this guy was as big as this. It's fucking immense, um, but absolutely gorgeous in equal measures. However, I'm sure a lot of you will realise what my holy grail is, so I'm just going to come right out and say this. Um, my overall crowning haul, uh, crowning glory in this haul is, yeah, this motherfucker. Um, yeah, make of that what you will. I don't know if you can see half of that, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I got a Brave Max. Well, um, I, I think the drums are getting a little bit loud now, so thank you very much for watching this. This is Gerard Gavin Barry, also known as Wolfgang1, saying thank you very much for watching. Uh, if this uploads, I will be back at some point soon with my overall thoughts on the Auto Assembly 2010 experience. Until then, take care.